In the past, power plants produced energy at any cost. Now it, we're not only producing energy, but we're producing less pollutants. It's better for the community, and it's going to be better for generations to come. Chris Cardinal from Gear Live Media. We're here at CES with Steve Jaynes from Ear Hugger Inc., and he's going to tell us about his Power Up iPod charger. Power Up iPod charger allows you to charge your iPod Shuffle or any of the iPod products, the Nano, the video, from four different power sources. You can charge it from the wall. You can plug it into the USB port on your computer. You can plug it into the uh, power adapter on your car. Or in an emergency, you can power it with a 9-volt battery. And An iPod emergency? An iPod emergency. You know, there are times you have to hear that song. Absolutely. Um, where's it interface to the iPod? We have a retractable cord where the uh, shuffle adapter or the 30-pin iPod dock connector attaches oh, okay. and then plugs into the bottom of the iPod. All right. How much does it retail for? About $35. All right, is it available at regular retailers or online only, or what's the story with that? Uh, it's available online at Target.com. Okay. It's available at uh, Brookstone, at Meyer, Airport Wireless, and right. Motion Video. Do you guys have anything else coming down the pipeline iPod related? Uh, we have a line of headphones that actually are called Max Life for all the portable media players now, both video and audio. Maximum battery life is an issue. And so we've gone with high efficiency 300 ohm speakers instead of 32 ohm speakers. Oh, cool. And that just minimizes the current that the speaker uses, maximizes the battery life. They sound great, and you save energy. What are the pricing and availability for that? Availability is here. Uh, we have both a white and a black line in four different models. And those retail from $9.99 to $14.99. All right, great. Thanks a lot. This has been Chris Cardinal, Gear Life Media. My favorite fishes to eat are uh, between crappie catfish and walleye. In the past, power plants produced energy at any cost. Now it, we're not only producing energy, but we're producing less pollutants. It's better for the community, and it's going to be better for generations to come.